Cheers to reopening and perhaps the biggest move towards normalcy since the lockdown began. Tonight, seven Northern California counties have the green light to reopen their economies early. As long as they meet special safety precautions mandated by the governor. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Tony Lopez. And I'm Elizabeth Kling. So those seven counties winning permission for an accelerated reopening include El Dorado, Placer, Nevada, Amador, Shasta, Butte, and Lassen counties. Each was required to certify that they've had minimal impact from the pandemic so far and have plans in place, definite plans, in case they see a surge in cases. So what's allowed in these counties that's not allowed in the rest of the state? It comes down to two things, dine-in restaurants and shopping centers. But again, it's not back to business as usual. Those businesses must meet a long list of safeguards. So what does the first night of this new normal look like? We're in El Dorado and Placer counties to take a look. Let's start with CBS 13's Anna Giles in El Dorado Hills with this story, Anna. El Dorado County gets the stamp of approval it's been vying for. Expanded phase two. People can have dinner at a restaurant again. Some feel like a long time out is finally over. I feel amazing. <laughs> I feel freedom. Um, it does feel good to be out and have a sense of community. Restaurant owners hope that feeling will bring in the people and much needed cash. Everybody's been waiting for this for six, seven weeks, so this is a blessing. Today's a great day to celebrate. It's a quiet start on Main Street through Placerville, with restaurants focused on preparing for the weekend ahead. The owner of Benet's still needs a few days to be ready to open. Restaurants have to meet several safety guidelines. Sanitizing stations, uh, six foot distancing. And no one sits at the bar. Across the street from Benet's, Placerville Public House is moving slower and won't open until June. We're always unsure about the reopening. We might start for a few days and just kind of test the waters and open limited hours, limited days, uh, and see how it goes. Al Griffin owns the place, which has both a bar and dine-in food. COVID-19 rushed him into making renovations and making use of lost time. He's trying to make more space and is even adding another bathroom. But in the end, he doesn't know what to expect. It's it's all about what people are going to be comfortable with, too. You know, people are going to be comfortable sitting next to people, and are people going to be comfortable coming in here and sitting down? A cautious step towards some freedom with lots of questions, but also lots of hope. 